What's up guys, John here from Type Medical Center, and today we're gonna to start documenting my journey. You're asking, what journey is that, John? The journey through my hernia surgery and the comeback, right? So I have an umbilical hernia right now that I need to get fixed. And if you don't know what umbilical hernia is, that's when your umbilical starts popping out. And you know, when you start like doing more exercises, it might pop out even more. Um, so I've already had a biungal hernia in like 2011 where I had mesh put on both sides and I've always built up my core, I've always been strong in that area, I always had abs. So I don't know what the problem is or what I did to even cause the umbilical hernia because I can't even like go to the point where I did it. And usually like when I did my biungal hernia, I know what I did. I was straining urinating. You can strain urinating, go number two, you can strain two as well, uh, coughing, uh, you know, puking, yelling, all these things will cause strain around those areas. And if they're weak in those areas, they will bust through. And that's kind of what happened to me. So at this point, like umbilical hernias, they don't have to be taken care of, it's only aesthetic purposes. But if it starts dealing with other issues in the body or you're having other negative symptoms, then you have to get it taken care of, which I'm in that boat. Mine starts getting worse and worse and worse, which I don't want to get any worse. And you can have really negative health things that happen to you, like testicular strangulation. strangulation. Um, you can have blockage of the intestines. Um, there's all different types of things that can happen. So get it taken care of or know what you're looking for. Um, now, there's some people that have lived with umbilical hernias their whole lives, right? It usually happens at birth with some of these, these guys or girls. So at that point, like they just live with it and they have no problems or no pain, nothing other happens and it doesn't get worse. Well, in my case, it's gotten worse. So, you know, my big question to him was gonna be, how long is the downtime gonna be, right? How long can I get back till I get in the gym? Cause man, six weeks is what he said. And the last one I did was 11 weeks. So I was kind of happy with the six weeks when he told me, but he's like, listen, you're gonna have to stay off of this and not do any strength ex exercising whatsoever or it's not gonna heal properly. Um, or we might have to be back in here or whatever it is. So I'm like, I don't want that. I follow the doctor's regiments or whoever the medical provider is and what they tell me to do so I can be compliant as a patient and make sure I get the result that we're looking to get. So follow me along in this journey, John's hernia surgery, number two, <laughs> umbilical and not the binding wheel. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope we both learn something from it. So today is the day. Today is the day I'm gonna get my umbilical hernia fixed. So uh, I started getting some other negative symptoms from this hernia. So I decided that I was gonna take care of it because honestly, I wasn't gonna take care of it. It was just a little aesthetic issue, but uh, other health issues can arise from hernia. So make sure you guys are checking, make sure you guys are taking care of yourself because things can happen, guys and girls, right? So uh, today I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get this hernia surgery done, umbilical. And uh, they say I'm gonna be down for about six weeks. So six weeks, I'm gonna have to watch my diet, which I already do because I eat the exact same thing every single day. So that's not gonna change. So I should be able to keep a little bit of my muscle mass. I mean, six weeks, they say after two or three weeks, you start getting atrophy. But hopefully I can do some little movements that'll keep my muscles a little active. I'm praying on that. If not, I've already been through a hernia surgery. I've had inguinal hernia surgery, biungual. So I had mesh put on both sides of me already. So this hopefully will be a walk in the park. I was 10 years younger last time I went through something like this and recovered and built back up. But I'm gonna show you guys the process of how to do this. If you are going through a surgery or something like an injury to keep you down and you want to get back to where you were before, it is possible, so don't think it isn't. I mean, not maybe not all surgeries, but you know, majority of them, you're gonna be able to bounce back. So at that point, I'm gonna show you guys what I go through here. If you guys have to go through this, you guys will have the experience. You guys will know what's coming for you. If not, you guys will get to see me go down, come back up, because you know what? The comeback is way better than the setback, so let's go. What's up guys, John here, and uh, I'm here to give you guys an update on my hernia repair surgery. 
Currently, I'm taking BPC-157, TB-500, IGF-1 therapy, my HRT, So I wanna heal as quick as possible, right? So I'm two and a half weeks in, I did my, my fault with the doctor and he said everything's looking, actually like it's healing quicker than usual, which hopefully it is. But as you can see, this is where they cut me for my umbilical hernia surgery. I still got a little bit of swelling around here, but I'm still lean. So he finally let me go back to 30 pounds. He said, anything over 30 pounds do not lift, but if I want to sit down and do some biceps, some triceps, then I can do that. Just no straining. You don't want me to do any you know, pushing exercises like bench press, uh, obviously no legs or no abdominal uh, exercises. So I'll have to wait another two and a half weeks for that at least, um, cause I gotta be at the six week mark, but I want to give you guys an update. So here's the update and I'm going to give you guys more updates as the weeks go on. So stay tuned and you'll see me healing faster and better than ever, like a true Titan with Titan therapies. So watch the magic happen as those Titan therapies start healing me from the inside out. Later guys. All right guys, I promised you guys updates. Here's the update. So I'm four weeks into recovery right now. I'm gonna kind of show you. I don't have my, uh, I have to still wear these compression shirts. I hate wearing shirts underneath, but um, here it is. I mean, it's not too bad. You know, I actually kept the same weight, thank God, to my Titan therapies, because I haven't been able to train for four weeks. Um, doctor said I could lift like 30 pounds. So I've been doing like 30 pound dumbbells on one arm, maybe a little bit of presses here or there. So I haven't been able to really, to do anything as far as muscle building, like really get into it. I've just been trying to maintain at this point. I've got two more weeks left, and then he said I could go full blast. So I'll have a couple weeks before a couple big events that I need to do, so hopefully I can turn some things around. Um, you know, it's always a, a, a mind game too, because once you're a certain size, if you can't train, especially if you love the training, you've been doing it for so many years, it can kind of get to you. And some people get depressed or get down about it, but you have to be mentally strong and say, listen, I understand what this is and I have to do this so I can get to this level, so I can get back into the mix and not have any regression, any more injuries or anything like that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So I'm on all my different Titan therapies as far as IGF-1, my HRT, uh, and a couple other ones like BPC-157, TB-500 for healing properties. And uh, everything is going well. Uh, the doctor said that I'm healing faster than what a normal patient would. That's two thumbs up right there. Um, and I'm gonna do some blood work to see where my IGF-1 score is at because I know that will correlate if I'm recovering faster or not, which I think it's probably a little bit above board, which is a good thing. So uh, stay tuned, I'll bring back another one, probably at six weeks, maybe at five weeks, and show you where I'm at there. But like I said, still got the six pack, still rocking the six pack, and uh, you know, I got a little cut on my navel, but as far as everything else, man, I, I mean, I feel good. I feel good, I'm a little hairy, but that's okay. That's all right. So four weeks in, umbilical hernia surgery, A-OK, -okay, rocking and rolling. I'll see you guys soon for the next update. What's up guys, John here, and I'm back with another hernia repair update just for you guys. And uh, right now I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm approaching six weeks. Still got visible abs, um, been eating pretty clean still, not getting off my regimen as far as HRT. So I'm taking that, and I've been taking a couple other things to help me heal faster. And actually the surgeon told me, he's like, man, you've been healing quicker than the normal patient. So what am I taking? So I'm taking BPC-157, TB-500, IGF-1 therapy, uh, GHKCU, so a copper therapy. Um, that should help with skin, elasticity. Um, so there's a number of different things I'm really taking and I wanna make sure that I stay on my regimen, even the testosterone. Some people think that you gotta work out to take testosterone. Well, I haven't worked out in six weeks and I've taken it and I haven't lost a bit. And you know what? Quality of life has not went down for me. So I'm there mentally, clarity's good, strength's still good, I think. But we're gonna get back in the gym today and see what I can really do. Um, Friday is when I go see the surgeon again to get hopefully the final clearance to go back heavy and go back to going 110%. But I'm gonna go at least 80% today and see how I feel. If I feel any pain, I'm gonna stop immediately. But hey, listen, if I don't, I'm just gonna keep working because I only got a couple more weeks to big Olympia that's coming um, and I gotta look right for that. So come along with me and uh, let's see how it goes today and stay tuned and we'll see what the surgeon says and uh, hopefully get back into this full blast. Titan lifestyle, let's go.
been six weeks since I really picked up any weights. So I was really surprised by that. Um, didn't lose a lot of weight any, you know, during this time period. Obviously, if you go six weeks, you feel like, man, I've lost a ton of my gains. Um, but they pop right back up. So thank God. My Hercules potion, my therapies like that got me working and have kept me to where I'm at. And so when I got back in here, it wasn't like, oh my God, I got to do this, I got to do this. I'm running out of breath. No, good to go. Stamina, endurance, strength, everything was there. Thank you to my Hercules potion and my Titan therapies. And uh, thank God, I think I'm back. It's time to really get this going and time to get back on track with my physique. So I hope this motivates you because you know what? This is motivating me, so it better motivate you too as well.